What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka Allfires and last night the internet absolutely broke as behind the scenes footage finally hit the internet. Not only was there footage, Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield in tow, we also got audio. This is a major, major leak, the kind of leak that had my DMs blowing up hundreds of messages in just five minutes alone. This again last night, and on top of that, Sony was copyright striking these as they were getting put up. As I was watching them, they were getting taken down. I have not seen a leak like this in a long, long time. Maybe the Avengers Endgame footage, but that was only days before the movie. This is behind the scenes footage confirming Andrew Garfield. We're going to break down exactly what was in the audio, what you could hear, what Andrew Garfield said in that scene. All of the scenes, because obviously I can't post the footage, but I can break it down for you guys. This is a major, major leak. The biggest we've had for Spider-Man No Way Home, and man, are the heads going to roll over at Sony. We're breaking down the brand new footage leak for Spider-Man No Way Home that includes audio and Andrew Garfield. But first, if you could, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content here at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from the official trailer and Easter egg breakdowns, episode recaps, all the way to leaks exactly exactly like this. So if that kind of thing's for you, maybe hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. If so, that'll automatically enter you to win all of the giveaways here at the channel, which we'll get into again at the end of the video. Okay, so real quickly, the normal spoiler warning, I remind you guys weekly to take everything that doesn't come from Marvel Studios with a grain of salt. However, when it comes to leaks like this, it's exactly the opposite of that. This is real. So if this is in any way going to ruin the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home, which Definitely raises the question as to why you would even click on this video. It's okay, I ain't mad at you. Wait till the film, come back and see us. We'll be here in the meantime. If you don't want to know this stuff, back out now. Now, the reason I can say with such certainty that this is real and not faked is because, well, there was some conjecture surrounding the earlier screenshots of this video that had leaked out. Some people saying they were photoshopped. Nope, this clip's out there in full 4K resolution. I've seen it. And this is what happens. There's some assistant directors in the foreground. You can hear some background noise. It then scrolls to what looks like Tom Holland with his mask off, kneeling on top of a car. It then scrolls to Andrew Garfield on the scaffolding with the blue background. What we've seen before in the screenshots, except this time in full resolution, you can see him looking up at someone who's off screen to his right. There's a Spider-Man hand in the foreground. That very much looks like it has raised webbing, so apparently this is supposed to be Tobey Maguire. And because even though there's audio from where this guy is filming, he, you can't exactly hear what he's saying. It sounds like something like that. But when you see in clear audio what his lips are mouthing out, he's saying, so there's no way back, as in Spider-Man No Way Home, making this a quintessential scene and a quintessential realization from Andrew Garfield once he realizes it looks like now he's in the MCU and hopefully the film is going to go a long way in sorting that all out, letting us know which Spider-Man is in which movie universe by the end of the film. Either way, this is a major, major leak. Oh yeah, and there's a little clip at the end where it sort of scrolls to more off-screen and on-set crew. They look like they're sitting at a filming desk laughing. There's a lot of obvious ambient audio throughout this recording because whomever's grabbing this is doing it on a cell phone from where they're standing. They're not up live right in front of the actors. They also don't have uh, any sort of mic so that they're picking this up HD. That's why it's hard to make out the audio. But now linking the video with the audio and having more than just a couple second clip, having all of this in its entirety drop last night is only slightly ironic. This because Andrew Garfield actually issued another official statement yesterday, a pseudo denial that he was in the film. This is what Andrew Garfield said yesterday before this leaked out. Quote, I understand why people are freaking out about the concept of that because I'm a fan as well. That's referring to all three Spider-Men in the same film. You can't help but imagine the scenes and moments of, oh my God, how effing cool would it be if they did that? But it's important for me to say on the record that this is not something I'm aware I am involved in. But I know I'm not going to be able to say anything that will convince anyone that I don't know what's happening. So no matter what I say, I'm effed. It's either going to be really disappointing for people or it's going to be really exciting. Sure, Andrew, I would just like to point out, guys, that when you're not lying, you don't have to use phrases like, I'm aware I'm involved in and say stuff like it's either going to be really disappointing 
or really exciting. He literally sounds like a lawyer or someone who's been coached to be put on the stand. And then of course, hours later, <laughs> this video hits the internet. I cannot believe this leaked out. I, I, I can't believe it. You add to the fact that the trailer leaked out the day before, like again, some of these actual footage leaks that come out the day before, uh, what's the damage? It's minimized by the fact that we're all going to see it anyway, and within a day or two, the people who really want to know about the leak will go check it out. Those who don't even get on YouTube, some of them won't even know it leaked. And I know that's hard for a lot of you guys to believe who follow this news every day, but I've got plenty of friends and family who are absolutely into Spider-Man in the MCU, who will go see the film, who had no idea that the trailer leaked because they don't spend their time on social media that updates these kind of things and because they don't log on YouTube every day. So there was no way of them seeing that. And really, that sort of gives you the uh, geography bias of all of the leaksters and the scoopsters really only existing in places where people go to find them. And then that leads right to the argument, is this a detriment to the fandom? Which maybe is an argument for a different video. But yeah, if you overhype yourself, if you're susceptible to that kind of thing, it can lead to disappointment. I think this is awesome and amazing that there are people out there who, you know, have presumably worked all their life to get where they are in the movie industry, which has got to be one of the hardest industries to climb in, and then still will risk it all to whip out a cell phone and grab a 3 to 12 second clip and then leak it out. I It blows my mind. Or for instance, the people doing the VFX who somehow allowed their screen marked copy to get leaked out and then screen recorded by a bunch of kids at someone else's house. This stuff... Literally, I, I can't even explain the amount of I don't give up at, that it takes to do this, and I can appreciate that. That being said, now with this video out there, the guy who leaked all this is claiming there is still more to come with proof of Tobey Maguire, and I'm assuming now that we've ramped up to this kind of video, that will be coming as well, and rest assured, once it hits the internet, we will report and react to it here on the channel. I am going to give you guys one slight warning. I've mentioned it a couple of times in the last couple of weeks. Sony apparently is not playing around. As I mentioned in this video, they were literally copyright striking and removing this clip while it was being linked to me and I was watching them. So basically, in the time it took me to open up the message and click on it, they were already copyright striking it. So if you see this clip, if you feel compelled to share it, please be careful. Not worth losing your social media account over. And there is a chance of that having, happening against Sony's not playing around. And a real copyright strike from that company is bad news. You don't want it. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. Did you ever think we would actually get this? And at this point, do you agree with me that Sony's hands are tied? They pretty much need to put Andrew and Toby in this next trailer so that we can put all this to bed. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's jump into the giveaway stuff and some admin to the channel uh, before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away multiple giveaways. We've got two PlayStation 5s, one going out at 900,000 subscribers, which we are screaming towards right now. The next will go out with the conclusion of What If in just five weeks. We're also giving away weekly Disney Plus subscriptions. Uh, some people have mentioned that uh, well, you know, a Disney Plus subscription is, is cheap. We give away a yearly subscription here at the channel. And on top of that, we also give away tickets. We just did a full week of Shang-Chi tickets. So if those kind of giveaways, you know, are, are for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. That's all you got to do. And because it's random, more videos you comment on, better chance you have of winning. The best way to keep up with the channel has always been to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter at I Am Fires. You can also find my original music on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you get your original music under the name All Fires, including the two songs you heard in the background of this video. Thanks so much for checking out the channel, dude. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.